Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Guys, I'm going to continue with the teaching as usual. But firstly, to all my new subscribers, thanks so much. Guys, please continue to share my vids, like and subscribe. And again, if you need any of my services, check out the description below. Spell works from breakup spells, love spells, prosperity spells, health spells, consultations. The whole bang is there. One-on-one um, -on -one with you guys for routines, um, healing trauma, healing heartache. I help with all of it. I help you grow spiritually as well. So I'm going to chat today about the demon, um, the Sago, also mighty prince of hell. Uh, one of my favorite characteristics about the Sago is he's exceptionally, um, not easy, but um, willing, especially for the beginners out there who want to start the invocation and see a little bit of, you know, miracles in their life. Start with the Sago. He's one of the good ones for that. Um, he's extremely willing and open to you. Uh, and you should hear from him and feel his presence pretty soon. He's, he's quite giving like that and open, especially when he knows you're getting started into it and you might make a mistake here or there. He's pretty cool with that, he, he's cool. So, um, he loves gold. Um, so when you use your invocation, you're gonna need a bit of gold there. But don't worry, you're not gonna bear it, it's not a spell. So even if it's your ring or bracelet or whatever, just keep it close by for it to resonate for him. Um, some of his characteristics is he's, he's master of past and future events. He's a master of uncovering lies and uncovering lost possessions. If you've lost something in your life that is kind of unjustified and you want it back, he can, he's the guy that will help you get it back. If you need to uncover things from your past and you seem to, you can't access it for whatever reason, Again, he's the guy to call on. And when it comes to the future, that's basically got to do with where you're heading in life, your identity, your place, and who you truly are or should be or where you should be. He's the type of guy that helps you actually see and think so much more clear of who you are, not what people say you are, who you are, where you should be, how to get there, and at what pace. This is the dude to help you with that. Um, so to start your invocation with him and relationship with him, um, you're gonna need one light blue candle, one red candle, one white candle. Each candle will be inscribed with his name. Remember with all invocations, it's a minimum of three days. If you want to, you can spread it a bit longer, but minimum three days. You want that frequency potent there for at least three days, guys, you know. You're gonna need a sigil, uh, the sago, hand drawn. I've said it before, it doesn't have to be the neatest as long as it's hand drawn and accurate um, so you're going to get it in your mind's eye the actual sigil so now that you know a bit about what he offers oh the main thing that i love about the sago he's a master of helping you completely open your penile gland so if you're like me and you, you're truly into your growth spiritually um seeing more knowing more just being better at everything uh into meditation the best version of yourself this is the dude you want a relationship with so you do your part right uh, your breathing techniques your chanting your yogas whatever workout routines you want to do and you want to access your penal gland and you truly want to open it up he comes and just opens it up for you as long as you're doing your part you have a sigil you have his three candles um, I'd like to get with that as well some also cedar wood uh, incense and yeah that's it three candles cedarwood incense um and some gold jewelry uh cups of plates doesn't really matter as long as it's gold in the vicinity written petition very clearly remember we always start our petitions with i welcome you in i invite you in i thank you for coming we thank you in advance and then you place in there what it is you need help with or assistance with hand on sigil lighting the candles i start sometimes looking into the flame depending on what i'm feeling you will know i look into the candle i'll visualize his sigil i'll start my incantation which for the sago goes like this the sago achtu jaden et rinish the sago to tasa the sago so you started off with the incantation you call out the invitation over and over and over you repeat it you close your eyes you start to visualize the sigil 
visualize it coming up into you. I personally like to send it into that flame that helps me to visualize. I will send his sigil, his signature in it, and I will send it up and I'll call him in and I'm thanking him as he's coming in. All the meanwhile, you need to see this. You need to walk away from an incantation of a time. The more you do it, like I said, the stronger your mind gets at it. And it becomes the point where you do an invocation, uh, you feel their presence, and you'll soon start to see the help without feeling that worn out. But it's worth it at the end, guys. So, I hope it was insightful. Again, please share, guys. Till next time. Cheers.